And we are just one day away from Hollywood's biggest night, the Oscars and the 93rd Annual Academy Award Ceremony on Sunday night will look like none other. COVID restrictions are making a big difference. But unlike other award shows, producers want to limit the appearances over Zoom. Jade Hernandez has a preview of the biggest award show of the season. The countdown to the 93rd Annual Academy Awards is on. Once upon a time in Hollywood, he that's the truth. Producers of this year's broadcast promise viewers will feel like they're watching a movie. It's important that such a big show, an event that the entire world is watching, that we show what's possible with science and common sense. Nominees are being encouraged to attend in person with appropriate safety precautions. What we'll say is masks are going to play a very important role in the narrative of the show. The Academy announced last year will implement new diversity and inclusion standards for Best Picture nominees beginning in 2024. But this year's list of nominees appears to already be meeting some of those standards. I think the connective tissue with a lot of the films that are up for, for either acting categories or best picture categories is that it's a reflection of what we're experiencing right now in 2021. Nine out of the 20 nominations for acting this year have gone to people of color. America is colorful and film is a universal language that changes and, and evolves. And we should welcome the way it looks, the way it's presented and who is in it. The frontrunner for Best Actor Chadwick Boseman posthumously nominated for his performance in Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. I got stopped. Oh. Also in the Best Actor category, Riz Ahmed, the first Muslim nominee for his performance in Sound of Metal. And Steve Yun, the first Asian American nominated for his performance in Minari. For the nominees for Best Actress, Viola Davis is in contention to take home another statue after her fourth Oscar nod. And Andrew Day is also in the running and has already taken home a Golden Globe for her performance in the U.S. versus Billie Holiday. Sunday night ceremony will take place in two locations. Guests attending the Oscars will be here at Union Station in Los Angeles, while other live elements will take place at the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Outside Union Station in Los Angeles, Jade Hernandez, ABC News. All right, and don't forget to watch the Oscars right here on Local 10. The stars will grace the red carpet at 7 p.m.